My father is Larry Forgione, one of the original chefs that led this like American revolution of cooking. But to be honest with you, I didn't grow up much different than any other kids. I think the difference was when I would actually kind of go into the restaurant. You know, for me, it was just where dad worked. But I always had a palate for, I guess, fine food. I mean, you know, most little kids, you know, they like chicken tenders and ketchup and french fries. You know, when I went to the restaurant, they didn't have to make me like a kid's menu. Like I would sit there and eat crab cakes or soft shell crabs or asparagus in ambush and like all these like quote unquote weird things for a child to like. You know, I always liked them. As early as I can remember, I've, I've always known how to cook. And when I say cooking, like, you know, it wasn't like I was working on the line when I was 10 years old or anything like that, but you know, I was making scrambled eggs and it wasn't like it was forced on me or anything like that. I just liked the cooking, I still do. So the asparagus in ambush dish is a dish that I reiterate, you know, every single spring. And the reason that I just enjoy making this dish or recreating this dish is, you know, it was a moment in my life that, that I'll never forget, you know, tasting this dish. Now that I look back at it, I was probably nine or 10 years old and I'm sitting at a giant banquet dinner by myself because my dad was in the kitchen. <laughs> and um, I just remember eating that and I like touched the person next to me and was like, I don't know what I just ate, but that was amazing, you know what I mean? And the guy kind of like patted me on the head and he was like, that was actually your, your father's dish. And I didn't know. Um, and it was called Asparagus and Ambush, which was his play on um, a James Beard hors d'oeuvre. You know, it shook me. Like just talking about it now, I can vividly see it like on the plate. It was a cool life-changing food moment that at the time probably didn't know was gonna mean anything. But you know, once I started cooking, um, you know, I went right back to that. It's just one of those kind of perfect bites.